Hey guys, it's iApple Tech, and today I'm doing the top 10 best Cydia tweaks for the year 2012. This is going to be a series of videos that will contain the best tweaks for the year 2012. So let's get into it. The first tweak is Spire. Spire is the alternative to Siri if you are running a non-A5 device. This includes the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation. Some older generations such as the 3rd iPod Touch and 3GS with the iPhone do work as some say but others say it does not work. Now Spire allows you to add a proxy host if you're able to make your own proxy or purchase one through many uh, different websites out there. I would stay away from uh, cheap ones or free ones as they can collect your information. Once downloaded Spire you have the ability to enable Siri on your device because it will allow you to enable Siri. So right here is a video demonstration of what Spire will do. If I go ahead and say test Siri proxy it will go to my Ubuntu server that I have set up on my Mac and it will access it allowing me to run Siri on my device. So right there it does say Siri proxy is up and running so I am able to ask Siri many questions such as what the weather is like, different type of stocks and just a whole bunch of nice uh, easy questions. The next Cydia tweak is My Assistant. My Assistant is probably hands down one of the best Cydia tweaks for Siri as you can add custom commands for Siri. So right here in the system toggles you have the ability to turn Wi-Fi on and off, Bluetooth on and off, your location, airplane mode, brightness, and the volume. And you also have the ability to en enter in commands such as respringing, you're rebooting your device, lock, take a picture, and you also can add custom replies from Siri. If you, if you ask a question for Siri, it'll reply with the custom message that you, have, that you have typed out. And lastly but not least, you have custom background photos for when Siri does pop up on your device. So let's go here and test it. I say uh, increase the brightness, so brightness up, and it increases the brightness by one point. Then if I want to decrease the brightness, I just go ahead and say brightness down and it will decrease the brightness by one point. Just like that, and I can also ask Siri other questions. So right here I say lock iPhone, and it will lock my iPhone, just like that. And if I go ahead and I want to see what my battery percentage is on my device, I just go ahead and say battery percentage and it will tell me that my device is 100% in use and is discharging. So the next application is Tiny Assistant. You can see here on the left it's my 4S that just has normally Siri here. You can see it does have the help prompt that um, allows you to ask different types of questions about Siri and on my right is my iPhone 4 and when I hold down the home button to enable Siri you'll notice that the help feature is not there. So with Tiny Assistant, it really uh, takes away that um, extra space that Siri uses, and it's really not a necessity for the iPhone 4. So here's a side-by-side -side of the two showing you that there is a significant difference with Tiny Assistant enabled on the right and without it on the left. So the next application on Cydia is called Ringer X VIP. As you can see here, each individual contact has its own Ringer X VIP settings where you can um, change the calls and your messages. So you can create a custom volume, uh, you can ignore mute, you can always vibrate for your calls, and just like your calls, you can do the same with your messages for your muting and your vibrate. You can have custom sounds for different contacts uh, such as your boyfriend, girlfriend, or co-workers. You can also um, always mute calls such as your uh, family or friends or you can always have sounds on such as your co-workers if you want to ignore your friends or different stuff like that. So each custom customization is in each contact which gives a nice balanced view to change the volume or change the vibration for each contact. The next application in Cydia is music banners. You can see here I played a song 
and just like how an iOS 5 notification would pop up in the banner option, your music does appear with the album artwork on the right and the song title at the top. When you switch songs, it will switch to the next song and appear with the banner option at the top with the artwork on the right. So it's nice, easy, like just like that. The next one is colored knob. Now this tweak is very nice because it's a simple way to change the slide to unlock knob on your device. So make sure you do have it enabled and there's many knob colors to choose from from the list. So if you can see here we have green, yellow, black, light blue, and right now I'm going to show you a few. Right now I have the option lock on and what's nice about this is you don't even have to respring your device, just go ahead and turn it off and back on. You can see I have the lock feature right there. If I go ahead and change it to the light blue, you can see I have the knob color to a light blue. Same with, uh, let's go ahead and pick a pink. You can see here that it does change to a pink. And if I want to do yellow, yellow is a bit iffy. It's not that uh, bright, but there's yellow if you like that color. And then you have green, which came with the uh, normal um, color knob. The next city of tweak is Zeppelin. Zeppelin has you have custom logos that replace your carrier name in the top left hand corner of your screen. So right here if I enable it you see the AT&T changes to the Dark Knight. Now Zeppelin offers probably about uh, 20 to 30 nice custom logos here including the Beats, the Dark Knight, and the Infinity. And you also have the Zeppelin loader packs which are add-ons to the City of Tweak Zeppelin. These can be found in the City of Store. And they just add um, other custom logos to Zeppelin. So right here we have T-Mobile. We have the Windows logo. Uh, we have Pac-Man. You can also have None, which just gives you None. We have the Assassin's Creed. So it's a pretty cool tweak. The next tweak is Quick Tweet. Now, Many of you are constantly on Twitter and want to post Twitter statuses and when you bring down your notification center you have a nice little logo here with a compose message and you can go ahead and type out your message. What's nice about this tweak is it also has the hashtags and the at symbols for tagging people or objects and right here I'm just going to do a test and send and it go ahead and sends it to my Twitter account that you guys can go ahead and follow. You can also change the position from left or right. And if you disable it, you'll notice in the notification center it is not there. And when you re-enable it, it is there. The next city of tweak is Simplexity. Simplexity really changes the multitasking on your iPhone. So normally when you hold and double tap it, this will not pop up, but with Simplexity, it's a nice UL interface. You can go ahead and slide to unlock icons to get rid of, and if you slide to the right, you have your brightness toggle at the top. Your Wi-Fi name and your IP address is below that. You also have the kill all apps, which kills all the applications running in the background. Your phone, mail, safari, music, and your music toggles there, and your sounds. So if I go ahead here and kill all my applications, you'll notice that I cannot scroll to the left anymore and view my apps because they're all killed in the background. In the settings panel, you can custom customize the window to your liking with different colors. You can also customize the table view color. And when you go ahead here and double tap the home button, you'll notice the colors in the background and the foreground do change. The next city a tweak is Jepit. Jepit allows custom effects when switching your applications. You can also change the speed of the effects or the normal default changing of applications. So right here I have it enabled and it is on vertical. So when I go ahead and change my application here, you'll notice it from it goes from the horizontal to the vertical. Just like that. And when I go back it goes in a vertical format. You can also enable the speed to go slow, fast, or really fast. So right here I'm going to go fast and it switches to Cydia in a faster mode than before. And if I go ahead back, there is some lag into it, but it does switch it faster. Now there are also many different features that you can go ahead and go through those to your liking.
Next to the tweak is motion. As you can see, my icons are twisting, moving in all different direction, all thanks to the City of Tweak motion. Now, motion does create a settings panel that allows you to customize all the different flips, turns, enlargements, and different stuff like that. So, if you can see here, we can turn on or off the uh, animation op options, including rotation, scaling, skew, flip, jump, transparency. And you can also customize the different wave options from vertical and horizontal. So if I go ahead here and click on the vertical wave, you can see the icons do move up and down. And if I go back into my settings panel and turn on the horizontal wave, you can see they go vertical and horizontal. So it's a pretty nice city tweak that allows you to customize it. So if you guys do like these videos of the top 10 best Cydia tweaks of the year 2012, there are going to be many more to come. So don't forget to give this video a like up, leave any comments in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.